communication skills, interpersonal skills training, body language training, goal setting, conflict management, assertiveness training. These are some very important skills one need to lay the foundation of one's career. So we have Sonika Nakala. She's an image consultant, soft skills trainer, and the founder of Oriate Image Management, first ever image consultancy in India that works towards enhancing the inner potential of each individual. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for inviting me. It's an honor to be here. To start with Sonika, please share with us about brand Sonika Nakala and what inspired your journey as a coach and a trainer. Thank you so much Rashi for having me here. It's really an honor for me to be here. I'm coming to brand Sonika Nakala. When I say when I say the word branding, it's about providing value as simple as that. It's very close to me. It's very deep, uh, uh, deeply enriched in my brain and heart. So when, when I have this genuine thought, a genuine passion to provide value to the people, when I really want to see the happiness or the transformation of the individuals that yes, Sonika has done so and so work for me, she has served me, I really want to hear that. So the branding about Sonika is all about having, it's about empathy, it's about emotional intelligence, it's about uh, vegan sustainable fashion, it's about sustainability, it's about health and career coaching. So when I talk about all these niches, it's having one concept. It's about ability to take the unnoticeable pain and transforming this pain to true happiness. So that's all about brand Sonika Nakala. So Sonika, how has your childhood and upbringing influenced your work, your work ethics? Let's hear that. Yes, coming to childhood, uh, I'm a really jovial person. I always love to make people happy. In fact, uh, I can say a bit selfish about that because I love to be the reason for their happiness. So, if you ask me about the, my upbringing and my childhood, uh, my parents were always supportive. In fact, my mother was always having this understanding ability. Uh, that made me to explore my energy, the, my foundation, my career because she always gave the uh, understanding that, okay, you can have your own niche, you can have your own career. There's nothing like you have to do only the engineer job or doctor, there's nothing like that. She was very open-minded and that really gave me a, a, a habit or the energy, the possibility to explore about myself. And coming to my father, he's always a mentor for me in terms of financial education. So whatever the suggestions or support I, I got from my parents, that really gave me a, a interest to have work ethics in terms of how to behave with people, how to manage about finance, how to manage the career. How to manage myself as well so it's all about uh, balancing my childhood and then balancing my schooling my education my experimenting my life was always there and that is absolutely wonderful the way she has spoken about her parents this shows the upbringing okay sonika ji why do you think soft skills have a major role in deliverables of oneself secondly what are the workshops you offer for a particular work for this particular vertical. Coming to soft skills, uh, if I can put this complete this ocean about soft skills, it's simply about people skills. Because whenever people hear about this soft skills training, what is soft skills and how it is important, it's about people skills, as simple as that. However, the importance given to soft skills is nothing but how you deal in certain situations. Because there's nothing right or wrong in a behavior about soft skills, right? It's all about how you, exp how you behave in a certain situation, how you respect the other individual, the minimum respect any individual can expect from the person. So it's all about uh, the contribution of value and acquisition of value in certain relationship. It can be with your neighbor, with your family or your friend, your life. It can be with anyone. So there's no right or wrong. So it's all about how you understand what is the benefit you're going to get in the relationship and what is it you want to project in the society. So that's all about the soft skills. So coming to the trainings or the importance of this, as I said, it's about people skills. One individual must know how they can work as a person in professional life. What, what are the goals they have in their life? So accordingly, the soft skills are needed. So it all depends on the goals they have set. It can be anything. It can be the health goal or uh, career, career goal or their profession or their physical fitness, whatever. The goal can be anything. That sounds like a lot of good work. Okay, Sonika Ji. Do you know that uh, with COVID, a lot of students have missed onto their on-ground skill development? 
So what are the different kinds of training programs or workshops you're offering for interview skills for the youth since you work on this vertical in this vertical in a very vast way? Yes, the global pandemic has really impacted millions and millions of lives. There's no question, there's no second thought about it. However, the digital ground is also growing at times. So this is the time where individuals have ability to learn many things from anywhere in the world, right? So they need to utilize this opportunity. So coming to youth of who are really want to get a good grow, good career growth, the first thing I want them to understand is, are they having, how you said the right goals for them? Because at times uh, I have seen many individuals where they really want to get into a profession where their parents are asking them to do, maybe doctor or engineer or IT profession or nine to five job or which they really want them to do it. But one thing we need to remember is individual has to know what they can achieve or what they really love to do. So I would have, I would like to have three questions for them. So it's about the ability they have, the ability to understand what they really want to achieve, what are the goals they have set. So now coming to this ability to after setting the goals, now coming to the skills training. So whatever the goals they have set, it's about how you really take the interviews, the body language, the communication skills, eye contact, the smile, the resume writing and projecting the confidence while you're speaking and showing the strengths and skills. So it's all about that. So whatever trainings the people need, so I'll take all, take all the communication skills on the body language. That's in a booming aspect because at most as image management is all about how you project in the society or how you have a social image with the people. So when the person entering in the interview room, as soon as the dressing sense will really get the impression, the first impression. So that shows the confidence that you really want to work for yourself. Even if you have weaknesses, how to overcome that weakness through a strength? How to camouflage that weakness as a strength? So it's all about building their personality, their attitudes, their behaviors. And we are so happy that there is one person who's helping the youth because we also work with the youth and I think this is absolutely amazing work. Okay, Sonika ji, uh, they see there are many trainers in the market. Okay, why Sonika Nakala? Let's hear that. If we really understand the concept of training, skill development, coaching, mentoring, we at times see uh, Rich Telly, of course, where they really show these courses and how the impact they can have through training and all. So if, if I want to explain about my, my niche or my trainings, I always try to be simple, I show the authenticity. So it's very easy for me to enter their emotions, their feelings, their fears, their challenges or their desires so that it's very easy for me to understand their experiences, their emotions. And that's where I can try to train them, coach them, mentor them. So it's about the, all in all, I can take all these things. Self-awareness is the best kind of knowledge, I think so. So, uh, Sonika Nakala, what is the success mantra? What gives you that gut feeling that you will be and this attitude and this knowledge will be successful? The success mantra is something about showing the true knowledge and wisdom. And I'm a person where I really want people to be independent. Coming from them, they know the, they know the potential as well. So, if that is done, the, the individual can really solve, can really solve any challenges. And if that is the path is being crossed, they really can have the ability to solve any challenges they face. Uh, skills, the training, the mentoring and coaching I picked for individuals, I want to be independent as them as possible. So that I really find, okay, I have trained so and so individual in so and so year or month. And now I see after five years, they are really on a great stage. And that gives me true happiness, true success to me. So one thing is about solving their goals and ability to have open mind. And of course, they have to be independent to solve challenges on by themselves. Now this is very practical and very innovative. So what are the future plans? So I'm so excited to share this. So I have a plan to build my own consultancy. So whatever I've shared so far. So I'm, I'm working as a freelancer. So now all come putting all this into one thing. Now how that really sounds to you. So whatever the trainings, the consultations, the coaching, the mentoring, all things will come into one consultancy. So I'm planning to build that. Of course, uh, as I said, my uh, my strengths are empathy and how I really be simple and authentic. So that gives me a true passion. That gives me a true possibility to start this consultancy. So uh, that will be the future plans for me. And also coming to the individuals, especially for the students, I'm also planning to build online courses so that they can enroll from anywhere. 
So that is wonderful, Sonika. Ji, when we quoted your poster, we got two queries from two young students. One has asked that even after having a good resume and a lot of achievements on the CV, the students face rejection. What do you think? How students should go about the interviews? Yes. So when the individual has the opportunity to enter the interview phase, so after the interview is done and if they get rejected, we need to have few questions in mind. So first thing is we need to be open to listen to the why they have given this rejection. There's no uh, comfortable environment given for the individual. So that also has fifty percent where the individual will be really feel the face to answer maybe it is right or wrong. So that has to be removed. So it, it's it's a big challenge for me as an individual as a trainer. But if that is said, that environment is set for the individual as for the trainer as for the interviewer. So it is very easy to understand. Okay, this is the thing. Uh, I'm really open to answer any question. And if they if they get rejected, they need to have open mind to get the feedback. And that's a very helpful tip. Okay, Sonika, what is your special message to follow a vegan lifestyle to all our viewers? Thank you so much for having asking this question because this is the platform I have to share this open message to everyone. So this vegan lifestyle is very very close to my heart. It's very close to me. because that really changed my personality my way of thinking my uh, way of uh, looking at people as well my way of looking at so it's been in 2019 i have been vegan 2019 i have been vegan and since then i uh, i had this attitude of understanding human emotions as well and that's again a strength for me so uh, it's about not it's about the following way, lifestyle is something where we cannot ask a person to follow so and so because it's all about life about experiences there is no right or wrong aspect uh, so having said that i really have this attitude to understand the emotions and that's the reason i cannot say follow something but coming to the message chi a good camp ya ko event where it was for 3 days and i somehow went to that uh, i don't know something called me just go i just went there and i saw people coming from different cultures different age group they have been those experience with their own backgrounds so they are utilizing three days time and coming from from anywhere and this sharing the message about how we treat animals in general animals in in general form animals not the street or what the the cow the hen the pig and all so how these animals are really treated in industry how they really have animal rights and that one word all the complete phrase really changed my mind over and over i have asked my i have asked question to myself what am i contributing to exploitation for the animals am i being responsible for this and this single question made me think about so deep that how we are conditioned in society that we have to follow so and so cultures and so on the traditions but unfor- but going, but at last or at the end it's all about unity it's all about having animals and humans working together for this planet uh, well being if that is done then that can be a true success for the humanity or the human species i guess but the simple message i can give to people is we can have documentaries like uh, cowspiracy earth earth links tonian and uh, what the he- what the health game changer so they all show how the how we all are conditioned in society irrespective of the country and also culture so they can show the true colors of how the industries are working and that's how might help you to understand how vegan can be a better you can have a better impact in society in the environment as well that's all about it it's the little details that are vital little things make big things happen get in touch with sonika nikala and this is a humble request to all the students out there who have not been able to get through the interviews in the college they can speak to her personally her details are available on the feed Her email is available. You can also write to her and seek your answers. Mm-hmm.